Hi everybody and welcome to this new video. So today I'm going to correct with you an exercise in arithmetics. It's an, an Olympiad exercise of St. Petersburg in Russia and it's not really complicated because we don't need to resolve this exercise to use some complex theorem or property. So that's why I suggest you pause the video and try to do it by yourself and tell me in the comments if you could, uh, if you could find the solution, find these uh, positive integers n that satisfy the condition uh, here in the exercise. So if you enjoy this type of videos, don't hesitate to subscribe to the channel if you're not already uh, a follower of this channel. Don't hesitate to hit the bell to get notified uh, if whenever I publish, whenever I produce new videos. And let's start correcting this exercise. So here we have n positive integer that satisfies 3 to the n minus 1 plus 5 to n minus 1 divides 3 to n plus 5 to n power. So let's try to find these integers, these positive integers. Correction. So actually here, um, actually, we have to notice something very interesting. We notice that we notice here that 3 to n plus 5 to n actually is between 3 times 3 to n minus 1 plus 5 n minus 1 and 5 times 3 to n minus 1 plus 5 to n minus 1. Why? Because you have, we have here um, 3 to n minus 1 is, um, is um, uh, 3 actually is less than 5 and if we if we uh, multiply each side by 3 to n minus 1 we will have 5 and here 3 3 to n minus 1 and actually that means that 3 to n is less than 5 times 3 to n minus 1 and if we add 5 5 to n each side 3 to n plus 5 to n is less than 5 times 3 to n minus 1 plus 5 to n here we can factorize by 5 and we can prove that we have 3 to n plus 5 to n is less than 5 times 3 to n minus 1 plus 5 to n minus 1. And that's how we can prove this inequality. And here we do the same, exactly the same, the other side. And that leads us to conclude that actually 3 times 3 to n minus 1 plus 5 to n minus 1 is less to uh, less than 3 to n plus 5 to n. It's exactly the same um, the same method. So here we have this double inequality. We can uh, so we can deduce that 3 to n plus 5 to n if we divide by 3 to n minus 1 plus 5 to n minus 1, we are between 3 and 5, actually. So here we, we were looking for positive integers n that satisfy 3 to n minus 1 divides 3 to n plus 5 to n. So this fraction have to, has to be an integer. So 
if 3 to n plus 5 to n divides 3, sorry, if 3 to n minus 1 plus 5 to n minus 1 divides 3 to n plus 5 to n power, 3 to n plus 5 to n here over 3 to n minus 1 plus 5 to n minus 1 is integer. And here it must be equal to 4. So as this fraction is between 3 and 5, the only solution is that 3 to n plus 5 to n over 3 to n minus 1 plus 5 to n minus 1 must be equal to 4 because the only integer between 3 and 5 is 4. We can deduce that then 3 to n plus 5 to n is equal to 4 times 3 to n minus 1 plus 4 times 5 to n minus 1. Okay, but here 4 is 3 plus 1 times 3 to n minus 1 and 4 we can write 4 as 5 minus 1 times 5 to n minus 1. If we develop here, we have 3 to n plus 3 to n minus 1 plus 5 to n minus 5 to n minus 1. And this is equal to 3 to n plus 5 to n power. We can here simplify 3 to n and 5 to n. And this is equivalent to 3 times n minus 1 equal to 5 to n minus 1. If we, uh, if we write it like that. So it means that 3 over 5 to n minus 1 is equal to 1. Okay? And that means that the power here is 0. So n minus 1 is equal to 0. So n is necessary equals to 1. So the only positive integer n that satisfies that, um, th th such that 3 to n minus 1 plus 5 to n minus 1 divides 3 to n plus 5 to n is 1. And that was the methodology to resolve this exercise. As you, as you notice here, we didn't use any of complex theorems. So tell me in the comments if you found, you found the same uh, methodology as, uh, as mine. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel, to comment, to like, to share. Don't forget to hit the bell in order to get notified whenever I post. And see you in the, the next video.